right, here's a video for uh, Violin 2, Guitar 2 in the Eine Kleine Nacht music for the Minuet. And uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of places so that at least you can see where I am on the guitar. Uh, I have fingerings for you, of course, you can see that, but it probably doesn't hurt for you to kind of see what I'm doing. And there's a couple of special places because you, Guitar 2, do a harmony and an ornament on, um, on two places and two places that have to be coordinated with Guitar 1. That's on measure one, two, three, four, five, six, measure six. You start off with a C natural quarter note, but then you're gonna see an F sharp with a trill sign. TR means trill. And here, all we're gonna do for a trill is we're just gonna play the note, F sharp, hammer, and pull. Okay? And then you have to do those 16th notes real fast, so it goes. So the, the E and the F sharp are also um, hammered. So you pull, or rather hammer, hammer, I'm sorry, hammer, pull, and then open E, hammer on it, play the note. So you are hammering with your index finger on the F sharp. That's that ornament. The next ornament's more difficult because you're gonna to have to use your um, third finger and your fourth finger. So what you have to do is this. Uh, uh, you're on a B, that's the third string, fourth fret, and you have to do the pull off and the hammer on with your four, third and fourth finger. And then you have to do the uh, hammer on with one A, and then hammer to three, and then land on the, the C. So it's that's what it sounds like. And then it just ends on a B. So um, you'll hear the passage when it comes to it. I'll just play those two measures. It goes one. practice that quite a bit so practice doing and then practicing getting to the third finger okay so you got to really train that third and fourth finger some of you might find that a little bit difficult you can do it this way I'm doing it with one and two but better technique is to stay in place right work the work these fingers so they yeah, better technique. Then everything else is kind of in position here. This, everything is kind of in this first position, and I am having you guys play with the fourth finger for the C sharps, okay? I think it's appropriate uh, when, when it comes into the time when it goes into the D major section. Um, so what I'm gonna do is kind of play through the part so you can see. The beginning goes open, open, and I play those notes really staccato. That's what they're supposed to be, short. And then this note is long, C. Then staccato. And then I have you doing this. So you have... It's a... It's a my tuner's making noise. A hammer, a pull-off... fourth string. Then G, A, B, C. Here comes the ornament. Then you, the ornament on the, on the B. Okay. All right. And then don't worry, I'll have a practice tape for you to practice playing along with. Then it goes and stays in position. I didn't put fingerings there because it's exactly the same ending. Now, you'll see that I'm staying in position here. Right hand fingers, once you start getting into the fourth string, 
Uh, it And fifth, it's okay for you to use your thumb. That's what I'm doing. So I, I have this. Notice I'm using my thumb. Thumb here. Thumb. Until I get to the third string. Then alternate. Now, interesting part, the trio. It goes into D major. And again, I want you to use really good technique. So, I'm going to keep you in this position, second position, because that's where D major is. And you're going to use third finger and fourth finger. Third finger on the fourth string, fifth, fourth finger on the fifth string, uh, fifth fret. So your fingering would be... I'm just trying to show you where my fingers are. And then you go one and three. And then open. That part's pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> For G and A. And then back to open. Okay, all of that's kind of pretty straightforward. Uh, so you're just doing this. just like the guitar one. And then, back to position. I played this whole scale in this position here, in this first position here. I go four, two, four. G sharp is on the first fret. And then I do shift so I can get into second position again there. Um, remember, this section has C sharps in it. Mozart changes keys. He starts off in, in, um, in G major, and then the trio is in D major. They always do that in minuets, classical minuets. Uh, and, then, and that's it. And then you just go back up to the top, and you play the music uh, without a repeat, and play both sections, the A section, no repeat, B section, finished. Okay. So next, I'm going to have a um, practice uh, 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 video so you can play along with my with me re, um, playing along with the metronome <laughs> if I don't stumble over my words okay here we go I'll give that to you <laughs> 